Hey YouTube, I'm doing another vlog. Um, let's see, put that up there so I don't get a glare. Um, hmm. What should I say? I'm not feeling quite well. Um, still, I haven't got up and changed or anything today. Um, oops. <laughs> um, the reason why I haven't been feeling well, uh, my heart rate is, um, just recently it actually got up really, really high, um, and, um, here, let me take this up off, so I can show you guys what I'm dealing with. 161 beats a minute. I've already took my medication um, for heart palpitations. Um, I have two medications that um, I take that gets my heart rate down. Um, the last couple of times that I've been in the hospital, um, like I go into the ER because I can't get it down. If I can't get it down, um, I'm going to say by the time, um, my husband gets off work, which is not until tomorrow morning, um, he will take me to the hospital. Or if I don't, if I don't get it down, I'd say in a couple hours, um, I will get it, go to the ER. Um, cause it usually kicks in within an hour or so, at least starting to drop. And it hasn't done that. And I just took it. I just thought I kind of document this. Um, it's not just for YouTube. It's um, to where I can reference to the doctors that this is something serious. You know, this is really something serious. And I, ha and I don't get them often. I get them when I'm stressed. Um, sometimes I get them when I feel rushed. And, you know, it just... It, it's nothing that I can control. I've, I've had them probably since I was little and I just never kind of put two and two together. I mean, they didn't have heart monitors, you know, avail availability, you know, like they do now. Um, but see, oh, my hair is like sticking up like Alice in Wonderland, Mad Hatter. Um, but um, I got this a couple years ago because the first time I had heart palpitations, I didn't know. I just didn't feel right. My heart just felt like it had butterflies. And, I mean, it's just to the point where all I can describe the way I feel sometimes is I feel like somebody stuck me on a boat and is rocking it. I mean, that's how it just... And I also noticed that this comes... My heart palpitations also come around when mother nature's here <laughs> i know it's too tmi tmi um but you also have to realize that mother nature is with me all the time because i have a really messed up period i don't know my doctors keep on saying it's because i'm overweight and um one minute i can have a period that is normal and or seems normal to me um, like, like what I grew up with and the other ones are to the point where I've had to have blood transfusions. Um, I had one back probably about eight years ago was my last blood transfusion. Um, the other time they admitted me, but just kept them monitor or uh, monitoring me. Um, sorry. I have to remember to breathe. <laughs> um, let's see, I'm just, I don't know what, call, I really don't know what exactly causes it. I've been, I feel like I'm the youngest person that goes to up here to the heart clinic. Um, they just said that and said sometimes my heart's just overworked. And I know that I've been, I've been using my sleep apnea. And I know that when I don't use my sleep apnea um, machine, I, can cause the palpitations as well. I mean, I just 
started back up on it. So I guess that could be another reason I need to take better care of myself, which I, I truly am. It's just sometimes I fall asleep and I just, you know, I'll, I'll be sitting there watching a TV show and just go, you know, hello, you know, like, why'd you let me go to sleep? You know, um, I did my makeup. I know this camera sucks. I got to get me a new one. My husband's got to get me my webcam. I'm, I lost it somewhere when we moved and this just is not YouTube quality. It's either that or you better get me a, a portable camera, you know, which I have my cell phone, but I rather have. I don't know. I don't know what I want. I change my mind every day. Um, let's see. Um, oh, I bought some fabric for my daughter's prom. I'm making her prom dress and her friends. And, um, let me show you. Um, this is her. I know the, co the camera color stinks, but... This is, like, the color of Belle's dress. It's very shiny, very, um, you know, Belle. Um, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Yeah, you might be able to. Uh, uh, it's a very sheer uh, tool. Um, and it sparkles. It has sparkles all over, and they get everywhere. <laughs> I'm just, I wish it would pick up. Oh, there you go. See the sparkles? Oh, isn't that beautiful? And that is going over the yellow fabric. Her friend is going more of the pink. This is like a very, very pink um, color fabric. And then I got, um, put this in here. Sorry guys, I gotta put it back in the bag. Um, oh, um, sorry. Um, yellow ribbon to go like along the waist. Yellow. See, this is like the yellow that the fabric is, it's really yellow, yellow, um, to do the sewing with, um, put that down the side, I got two more fabrics, and th those, all those fabrics, except for the yellow, was, oh, these fabric, the pink fabric, and the tool were two, two dollars a yard, um, and then I bought, me some fabric which is it's got like this print on it let me unfold it it's kind of sheer let me see it's very thin so it's gonna be great for summer um hello i can see this so, but i'm gonna double it up or just make a like a t-shirt to go over a shirt like the one i got on um but this is very stretchy i make all my clothes i bought four yards of that and I usually get at least two and a half two two shirts plus a lot of remnants left over which I usually add the remnants to shirts that might be a little too short that I bought and or that I made and just got short <laughs> for some reason I know the reason um I also got this uh fabric which is like I said I wish my camera was picking up the colors but this is green and it's sheer as well but it's it's kind of like that material where it it looks solid then it goes you know it's it's just really good and I want to try to find me some matching um, fabric to go with it uh, for tank tops underneath um, I do like I said make most of my clothes I mean or I'll find clothes that don't fit, or somebody will hand them down, and they'll, oh, you, you'll, you'll just be able to fit into them, or, and I'm like, hmm, no, you know, no, I'm not, no, I'm, you know, not at this time, you know, they're just going to be sitting in my closet, like, my sisters bought, brought me two pairs of pants the same size, and 
they don't fit. My legs are, the only thing that does really, really does stop it is my butt and my hips. Well, my leg, my legs and my butt, and, you know, so that's the main focus that I'm working on. And I've noticed that I was looking at pictures from a while back. My face was very, 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 very puffy. And I've, for some reason, my face is like narrowing here. I don't know why. Um, I, I guess it's a change in my diet the last couple months as well. I might not see it on the scale just yet, you know, because my doctor's office, I guess I'm either going to have to get a new doctor's office <laughs> um, that actually has scales that actually work properly. I did have a doctor's, but they were just like 15 minute of pain doctors and they just were, you know. Um... Uh, my crystal light stuff. Um, see my little. I I don't like cups to sweat, and I know that the when I put ice in them they sweat. So I made these little cup things. It's the whole, and it stops it. I mean it gets a little damp at the bottom, but you can just throw it in the washer and wash it and dry it and put it back on. It's like an instant coaster wherever you go. Um, I had a. You know, just, I mean, this is just, this is why I get sometimes when my heart is really, hmm. <laughs> let's see, I've been talking to you for guys about 11 minutes, and I know that nothing is going to be changed on this heart monitor. I'm going to turn, yeah, again. And it's still fluctuating. I mean, it's dropped maybe a couple. And the last time I went to the emergency, oh, well, it went to 160. I forget now. Um, the last time I went to the emergency room, they chemically stopped my heart. They stopped it to kind of like reboot it, you know, like a computer. You turn it off and you turn it back on. So, um, every time I go in there, I'm deathly afraid of going in there and they, them doing that because it hurts so badly. It's like somebody, like a ghost reaching inside your chest and just like squeezing your heart. It's that bad. And I, I don't ever want to experience a heart attack. I mean, for what I experience here, I don't have really pain. I just have this almost to the point where it feels like you're going to vomit, but you don't. See, I don't vomit. I never got motion. I never got morning sickness with my kids. Nothing. The only time I got sick with my kids is when my husband, my ex-husband, brought a Raleigh barbecue. You know, the burger with the, I don't know if you guys know what Raleigh's is. Uh, but Raleigh's, they have this burger with onion rings on it and barbecue sauce and onions. And I, oh, just even the thought of it just brings that, oh, I don't like it I don't think so you know but I just don't know um I know that I've been you know it's like 13 minutes I don't know how long my videos can last on here you know what I'm saying like how long I can do a video I, I know that it was 15 minutes one time and I just hate to sit there and do a 15 minute or longer than a 15 minute video and it never pop up you know like I, I can't upload it you know because you can't really edit it um but I am, if I get to that 15 minute, I will stop and I will continue on, um, with talking to you guys. I miss it. Um, I, I'm getting my self confidence back again. Um, doing YouTube. I never used to get really shy about talking to the camera and stuff. Um, my kids used to hate it cause I used to vlog with them and it's like, mom, don't put that up. People see it. So, but I will continue in a minute. I'll probably be putting these up to back to back because I'm in the mood to talk. See you in a minute.